Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today in Engineering Newswire, we're using a robot as a portable printer, cruising the water with the Helicad, and rediscovering physics with electron beams. Hey, it's talking about boats. <laughs> While technology has become more mobile, there's one device that hasn't. The printer. That is until now. The mini mobile robotic printer is only 10 centimeters high and 11.5 centimeters in diameter. This pocket printer is activated by sliding open the hatch that hides the inkjet, and after aligning the printer's corner with the corners of the page, the document is sent through the app to begin printing. Based on an OmniWheel system, it can move in any direction and can print on any size paper, lasting for up to an hour on a full charge. This ink squirting robot is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter with 24 days left to go and less than $50,000 left to raise the original goal of $400,000. So there is still time for you to get your own personal pocket printer. I hate this printing thing! <laughs> The Department of Energy's Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility has opened the door to the future by recording the first data of the 12 billion electron volt era. Huh? Perhaps you've heard of the Continuous Electron Beam Accelerator Facility? Back in 2008, researchers began construction on the already efficient accelerator to double its energy from 6 to 12 billion electron volts. Wait. So? Uh, what? Okay, okay, got it. The Department of Energy's Jefferson Lab recently upgraded their accelerator facility to the tune of $338 million. Does that get your attention? By sending beams of electrons around the giant accelerator facility, experimenters can run high-end physics experiments, like discovering the building blocks of the universe. And you say mind blown? Mine sized. The April 1st experiment that confirmed the quality of the recent upgrade was the first demonstration of a beam beyond the original accelerator's operational energy and heralds the first beams for nuclear physics experiments in the 12 billion electron volt era. These first experiments will provide higher precision measurements of the structure of the proton, and then the researchers will turn to more finite areas of physics. You know, the complicated stuff. Want to unleash the 007 in your soul? Then check out this catamaran. The Helicat 22 is great for stable and safe, fun, fast, economical, and practical water travel. It features two independent motor fuel electrical systems for redundancy and can travel up to 20 to 30 miles per hour in white cap waves at five miles per gallon, which is impossible with other boats. The boat's top speed is about 40 miles per hour with twin 60 horsepower Mercury four-stroke EFI motors. Consumers also have the option of a 90 horsepower engine. A custom aluminum trailer with LED lights and disc brakes is available and it can be towed by a mid-sized car or small SUV. It weighs under 3,400 pounds on the trailer full of fuel and gear ready to go anywhere. The tail on the back of the Helicat 22 is more than just a nod to the vessel's helicopter influence. It serves as a wakeboard water ski tower as well. The boat also features easy and safe trailer launching and retrieving under one minute by yourself without gymnastics or risk of falling. water taxi tour boat, and an offshore scuba platform, and more. Tons of fun in a boat. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PDND channel, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.